Okay, YouTube user Verrocker894 requested to see Windows 2000 running on this, the Compact Bracero 7594 from 2000. And yes, I did it before I turned it on and stuff. I did a little changes around right here. The sticker for the Celeron, Intel Celeron processor sticker. I decided to put it right there and I moved this one a little on the side. So, let's go ahead and turn her on. Yes, this computer now has 256 megabytes of RAM. This is where they got two USB ports. And I still got my door to the CD drive. And Windows is starting up. Still got the same 10 gigabyte hard drive in it. And I'm keeping 2000 on this. But the bad thing is there's a built in sound card so I can't have sound. Oh well. But I'm going to normally use this as a work computer for basic stuff. Because the drivers aren't compatible with 2000. I tried installing it no sound. And yes, I could use a pen drive or a flash drive on this because of that USB port that's on the front. And the floppy drive is blending with the case. And it's pretty fast. Actually, Windows 2000 ever since I've upgraded the memory to 256. If it had 64, then I would have Windows 98 SE. But now Windows 2000 runs better. But I don't need the sound. To I'm going to show you something that I used to have in one of my other videos. Remember this wallpaper? This cool wallpaper? I had this on my Gateway G6 350 before. You may have seen it in the last of time, seen it like a while back. I decided to put that on there. To show you what you may remember, you might remember this background. You've seen it before on my, on my gateway. And we'll go ahead and turn it off. Yeah, I'll put, put it back to the blue screen. I'll, have a, if you have no wallpaper up there, then it uses less memory. Yep. It's Windows 2000 Service Pack 4. I'll bring it down a little bit. See? Windows 2000 Service Pack 4. AT slash AT compatible. It's a 32-bit processor. There's the 256 megabytes of RAM. Well, funny thing with Windows 98, it said 255.0. Never. And here's the Winver. So I got this. You go to start and go to run and type Winver. I, of course, I know AN65001 would made like to see Windows 2000 on it as well. If he's not been on here in a while, there's all the programs I got. Yep. Yeah, and this video is a request. I do have an office shortcut bar. Let me pull it up if I could get to it. There's my shortcut bar. I renamed it, that's why that error message came up. See, it's like right up here. I wish I can get it to set, if I could figure a way how I could set it whenever it come, make this come up on startup. And yes, I do have an antivirus software on it. The only way you can install a Vera antivirus, you have to have Internet Explorer 6 installed. So I got Internet Explorer 6 Service Pack 1. That's why you may notice a light blue E right there. 
the latest version of Internet Explorer you can use on Windows NT 4.0 with Service Pack 6, Windows 98, 98 Second Edition, Windows ME, and Windows 2000. The latest you can use on there is 6 with Service Pack 1 or without the Service Pack. And those of you who don't know that Internet Explorer 6 works on Windows 98, it does. You can use Internet Explorer 6 on Windows 98 SE 2 and Windows Media Player 9, which is a good media player for Windows 2000 and for Windows 98 SE. I'm going to close out my toolbar. And this is the latest Firefox and that's the full Office 2000 programs. So, I did a little changing around my quick launch. Instead of Outlook Express, Microsoft Outlook could be right there. All the others are still right there. Yep, so, just to show you how good Windows 2000 runs. So, let's go ahead and shut her down. It does pretty much fly. Normally Windows 2000 is always flying on it. So, we'll see you guys all later. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, or subscribe.